So how do you get started? You literally go to the homepage, givemn.org, and it looks like this screen on top. You're going to go to that green box, are you a nonprofit? Get started. It's going to take you to this, this next um, screen, and it'll say click for admin access. So what admin access means is you can update pictures, um, video, and copy your text, right? Um, so again, how many people have updated, have an updated page on GiveMN? Awesome. So you guys want to just talk about how long did it take you? What's your experience? It took me, I think, my quickest part was kind of figuring out the picture part. I'm not real gifted in the uploading things. Um, otherwise, it didn't take very long at all. I oh. think our challenge was too, we had um, um, making sure everybody's on the same page. Because our board member, because yep. uh, she can make her own page too and invite other people. Yeah. Closet. Yeah. But when I looked at hers, um, really the goal of what we wanted to raise, her goal and my goal weren't the same. <laughs> it didn't look very good as far as you know. We should uh -huh. probably be the same if we're from the same organization. So if you got other people doing that. So we'll talk more about that. So what you were updating is your organization's page, and there are three types of pages we're going to talk about. Your board chair was doing a fundraiser page, right? Right. So that's how that works. We'll get we'll get to that. How about you? What was your experience? Um, You can say that louder. It I'm going to say it in the microphone. It took five minutes. Five it's minutes. really yeah. easy. I promise you. And, and ours, I guess, was the same kind of getting, because we kind of have a logo, but getting our logo to be on there and look correct. And yeah. And it just looked how it's supposed to look. Um, but it's on there. And, you know, Great. It's pretty easy. Great. OK. Yeah. I, I was going to say, just sort of echoing what she was saying, I, I just got on yesterday and, yeah. and tried to do basic things like upload our logo, and, and so our logo is a JPEG, and I upload it, and it shows up as a red X. So it's like, <laughs> what's the matter with that? So. so, Jeff, do you have some words of wisdom? Is it how it's what people are viewing it in? As far as uploading <coughs> pictures and stuff. So the question is, when it's uploaded as a J JPEG, but in some, is it in some uh, browsers or some uh, I mean, viewers? Yeah, I mean. It's just a standard JPEG, and, and I'm just curious, I mean, does it need to be like a GIF or a TIFF? Or, no, no, you know? no. JPEG is, is right, and, it, and you want to keep pay attention to the size. I think there is a size limit on there, so you want to make sure that the JPEG is the right size. Okay. So you may need to re reduce your JPEG size. Uh, I mean, as far as the pixel uh, resolution? You know, optimal, I think, is around 600. It's, it doesn't need to be very big because it's not a lot of space on the web page. Okay. So, um, but if you just took one from your camera, and it's the full resolution from a camera or something. And this is a logo you're talking about. Right, right. But if you were uploading, um, well, I guess, it, yeah, if it's going in logo, it can be really small, actually. Okay. She'll only right. be a few, well, I'll play with it. Maybe okay. okay. on a break, we can take a look at it, too, and sure. see. I'll, um, leave, I'll leave my cards, too, so that, uh, you know, I, one of the things I do at, at GiveMin is take a lot of calls about these technical details. So I'll leave right. my cards, too, if you want to just pick up a card. And then if you ever have technical difficulties, you can call me directly. But I will repeat, it's really easy. And usually there's no technical difficulties. <laughs> we'll get you fixed, I promise. Um, great, OK, any other comments, the pages? So the organization page, what you can see up here, this is an example of um, an updated organization page. So if you remember from the last screen, it just had a logo, <clears throat> excuse me, and it had like the EIN information. Basically, the default information is basic info from your 990. So Razu has a data feed from the IRS. So it's your 990 information that's the default. When you go in, <coughs> excuse me, when you go in and um, um, get your admin access, it takes about 24 hours. What, what Razu does is they're just checking that you're legitimately connected with the organization, right? So I can't go in and, uh, you know, trash talk about Habitat. Like I'd do that. Um, so it's basically the person's legitimately connected to the organization, and um, and then you can go in and do all the, the updating. What I picked this is as an example. This is Helping Paws of Minnesota, and um, they have a video, and it's just it's a great video. And I put um, there's a couple of tidbits here. If you do nothing else on Give on GiveMin, update your page. So get your admin access and update your organizational page. Like if you leave and you're like, okay, I have one thing to do, and it's going to take me five to seven minutes. This is what we want you to do. One other stat that I think is very interesting, pages that have video um, get 20% more <coughs> donations. So yeah, definitely jot that down. Pages with video. And how that works is that um, you literally it'll browse to YouTube. 
So you'll need to upload a video to YouTube. And again, Jeff um, or I can talk you through that. It is, it is really easy. If you've never done it, you know, uh, we'll be happy to help. Can you put more than one video on? Great, great question. So the question is, can you put more than one video? Not on a page. So you, have, you can do more pages, which is what we're going to talk about. So for your organization page, you pick one video. So the organization page is basically like your general info, right? What is important about what you're doing? The other thing I'll point out on this page is um, on the right hand side it says make a donation and there's specific um, amounts that you can suggest and suggest what they go to. So this is $40 to purchase training equipment for a service dog in training. $75 to purchase a Life Stages oh, folding dog crate. So as a donor I say, ah, I can do $75. That's awesome. I bought a crate for this service dog program. Right? So again, it's that tangible connection to your work. The next kind of page is called a project page. And this is, um, you, as you can see, it looks identical to the organization page, right? So the only difference is that you, now that you have admin access, you've updated your page, you have the ability to create these pages. There's, I think there's a limit, but nobody's hit it yet. So I think it's like 150 project pages. So you can really go crazy. I dare you to do 150 project pages, no. Um, but you know, people have actually approached this as a catalog of giving. You can now update, or you could create a bunch of um, project pages. This drills down on specifics, pro specific programs that you run. So I'm gonna pick on Habitat just because I, um, I, I know a little bit about the work of your organization. You could do a project page for each of the houses that you're building. So you can, unless the address is confidential, which might be, but you know, you can have, you can pick specific projects. So if you work with young people um, and you've got a back to school backpack drive, you can do a project page that's very specific to that backpack drive. And then you can send that out via email. You can market specifically to this page. It's a unique page. So you can cut and paste the link that goes right to this page. Um, and send it out and you could uh, essentially market this project. So it's a different experience. People don't have to, I'll get right to it, people don't have to go to your website, you know, kind of go through a couple of pages to figure out about your work and then hit the click donate now button. Does that make sense? The ability. Okay, question? Can you make these project pages invisible until you're ready to use them? I don't think you can. I had this question on Monday and I forgot. I don't think you can. I think the answer is no. Jeff, do you know, we can't, it's, you can't do dormant, right? Like, can't create. They go live when you create them. And I don't think you can save them. You have to publish. I have to double check that. I had that question There's before. No for, for saving it unpublished. Right, okay. Yeah, you, you go in when you're ready to, to put something up. Yep. Yeah. Save it Yep. So the beauty of that is it's really quick, right? You do it, it's a five minute process and it's up and it's online and it, there's sort of no administrative process to get it published. Um, but yeah, we don't have the ability to maybe do half of it, get halfway and then save. But again, it is, like I said, really easy. Um, so this is again, uh, you can micro or you can micro market to the, to the projects. So I was gonna say, uh, we do have a um, humane society that's actually treating this like a catalog, a giving catalog. And so they've created, you know, like 20 project pages, virtually adopt um, spot, you know, and it's got the picture of the dog and virtually adopt. And so you can make a, you know, you're virtually adopting, you're giving an online donation. So it's just, it's just a different take, right, on how they're marketing and using the project pages. Questions or ideas on this? I think this, I, I think this is a pretty um, useful function. The next one um, is awesome. This is the fundraiser page fundraising page. So if you look at this, it is, um, again, identical, right? It looks just like the other pages. The only difference is this is created by an individual. So the beauty of this is I can go on at any point and make a fundraiser page for your organization. It forces me to select a 501c3. So we know that every page is, this is not going to be Dana's vacation fund. Right, like this is a legitimate organization that people are fundraising for. Um, how might you how might you use this? What do you guys think? Yeah. Just thinking in terms of our annual campaign right now, and our board is charged with um, raising twenty thousand dollars in order for us to receive a capacity match grant from Boys and Girls Club of America. Great. So we we're really blessed with the Bremer and the BGCA, and we're yeah. just gonna make a lot of money this year, which is gonna do great. But mm -hmm. every board member,
could set up their own individual page and yeah. say, my, my goal, and right. I, I know um, you commented that the goals were different, but in this case, I could see that being a benefit. Yeah. As a board member, I want to raise $5,000. Yeah. Yeah, toward our $50,000 goal. Yeah. Yeah, it's per that's a perfect example. So this is, think about, I mean, your board is a great place to start, right? They can all go and create their own pages and send it to their friends. So it's sort of an insta way to engage them in your fundraising. Parents, too. Our club members. Perfect. Parents. Like yeah. Sweet. Yeah. When young people themselves, right? The people yep. that are at the core of some of your work um, can set up a page, send it to relatives that live far away. I mean, it's just, again, this way to reach out beyond your limit your list of potential donors it just exponentially expands yeah so how i understand how you get the administration side of it yeah how would a board member go on and log in to get their profile great question so i'm just going to repeat it for the um mic uh so the question is how does a how does an individual like a board member go on and create a page like this. So you do have to create an account. So as an individual, just like as an organization, you have to create an account. It's uh, uh, email, and you make up your own password. So that's all the information is. Um, and then you literally click on fundraise, and it takes you through the three-click process to create this page. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that some or this freaks some people out, right? Like anyone can go out there and create a page and connect it to your organization. You as an admin, whoever is set up as the admin, and your organization can have multiple admins, um, whoever set up as an admin gets an email that says, you know, in real time, ping, Dana Nelson set up a fundraiser on GiveMin for your organization. I highly suggest that you click on that email when you get it or that same day because it is published, it is live um, on the GiveMin site. And so you just want to go out there and check and say, um, you know, and then I think it's an interesting question, the issue that you brought up of, you know, my board chair is out there and she's got her page and the goal doesn't match mine and shouldn't we be on the same page? And I would just say, you know, in some situations that's probably very true, right? In some situations it's probably okay, right, to have, it's an individual take on maybe their fundraising goal. Um, and this is a, um, how do you say this? Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's less control. You have a little less control. And that is kind of scary from a communications and branding standpoint. But I promise you, when you get set up your Google Alerts, you'll see people are talking about your organization. You want people to talk about your organization um, and, and have more and more people talking about your organization. So it's a little, maybe less the way you'd talk about the work, um, but it's coming from sort of that authentic voice of someone creating, creating a page on your behalf. This is a lovely example. This is, again, that um, helping pause. This is a couple that's getting married, and they, um, Say, help us sponsor a service dog. So in lieu of wedding gifts, they're asking for donations to help sponsor a service dog. So we're seeing a big trend here around wedding registries, um, birthday gifts, um, events, right? So you, can do, you can't do ticket sales this way, um, but certainly if you guys have any like 5K walks or any of those kinds of things, you can have individuals set up their fundraising goals this way. Does that make sense? Questions about this? Yeah. So, let's say you find a page that you're really not happy with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have the, as an administrator, do you have the ability to take that off? Good question. So the question is, um, if you see something out there you really don't like, do you have the ability to take it off as the administrator? You don't as the administrator, um, but I urge you either to email us, but actually the best address is, and it's in your slides, but it's info at razoo.com, and again, you know, Razu as our technology partners, red exclamation point it, and they'll get it down in a matter of, of uh, probably half an hour or less. That's the quickest way. Um, Jeff and I can certainly be helpful, but like if we're out that day or something, I just wouldn't want it to get hung up. 